I'm coming at the haters, they're making me more famous Cause my videos got more force than Darth Vader go Ladies and gentlemen, it's your boy, Turkish Delight, back with another Star Wars Battlefront 2 video. Today's video is a short update for my followers and Battlefront 2 fans who are not on Twitter. The other day, Ben Walk put out a tweet, as well as a post in the Battlefront forums, talking about an incoming hotfix that will be coming to Battlefront 2 at the end of this current week. This hotfix will include a number of improvements, according to Ben, including another tweak to Maul's saber throw, as well as finally bringing a fix to the rank 50 trophy glitch. Any players who have reached rank 50 in Battlefront 2 will notice that they probably do not have the trophy that was supposed to get awarded to them for reaching that rank. And this has been an issue since before the last Jedi DLC, I'm pretty sure. So it's nice to see that they're tackling these bugs one by one. Full notes for the fix will come closer to the time of release, so I will have a video out and ready to discuss all the fixes and updates coming to Battlefront 2 when those notes get released. Since it is a hot fix, I assume it'll be server side, meaning we won't have to download anything, we should just be able to turn on the game and enjoy the fixes. In his post in the forums, Ben gives an obligatory, all going to plan, things can change. Which to me means that so far this update is on track to come when he says it will, but if complications arise, it could slow the release down. We will know more closer to the end of this week. Besides that, Ben also tweeted an update regarding a new map rotation for Hero Showdown set to drop tomorrow, Monday the 28th. It looks like DICE is updating the map rotation for Hero Showdown weekly, with them taking away maps that the players are saying do not work too well for the mode, and adding others that could possibly work better. The rotation for Hero Showdown starting tomorrow is going to be Jabba's Palace, Naboo, Death Star 2, which I'm especially excited to play on, Takodana, then Cloud City. I assume by Cloud City he means the Administrator's Palace on Bespin, since Cloud City was the larger scale Walker Assault map in Battlefront 2015. Honestly though, I wouldn't be too disappointed if we got surprised with a section of the Cloud City map from the first game, though I'm not holding my breath. But it looks like this is the end of playing Hero Showdown on maps like Hoth and Starkiller Base, for a while at least, so if you like playing on those maps, try to get as much playtime in today as possible before that change takes effect. And with that, that's all I have for you guys today. This video is a short update, but I know more of the community is on YouTube and not Twitter, so some of these announcements and updates slip past a lot more of the casual players who are not actively seeking the information. I recently started following Ben, so anytime he makes an important announcement on Twitter, I will do my best to follow through and share the message on YouTube. Thank you all for joining me today. Consider becoming a subscriber to stay up to date with all content from this channel. Click the video that just popped up on the left to see my thoughts on what should return from Battlefront 2015, and click the video on the right for possible hunt modes we could see in Battlefront 2. This has been Turkish Delight. I'll see you all out on the battlefront. Peace. Rum, tequilas, margaritas, got me chilling with the divas and all of the spicy senoritas. They be dancing on the